Hi everybody, my name is Mauro Scandius, field application engineer for ST Microelectronic, and I'm working on the MEMS sensor portion. What I'm gonna show you today is this uh, Eval board, this development kit, and it's called Lesson Sensor Tile dot box. Uh, this is uh, the let's say the way that we uh, sell the the device. is a compact uh, IoT node embedded. You have uh, several sensors uh, such as accelerometer, gyro. Uh, magnetometer, pressure sensor, humidity, temperature um, so you can leverage all these uh, uh, devices in one communicate through Bluetooth you have an SD card embedded and a big battery to do uh, let's say data logging and uh, uh, have a let's say evaluation of our um, sensor in synergy with our STM32 microcontroller if you want to find information, you go to our website, st.com. The PAN number is Steval MKSBOX1V1. You have a lot of information like uh, user manual, schematic, below material, um, layout. And uh, really, you can, uh, you can see also how it's implemented inside. The main uh, device that I, I would like to show you today is the 6-axis. The latest six axis is called LSM6 DSO X. Uh, with the X, uh, we put in place the let's say the best in terms of uh, feature embedded on uh, six axis IMU. In particular, we have uh, embedded feature for pedometer um, tilt detection, uh, um, double tap tap. But we have also Finistein machine then can work for gesture recognition and machine learning core for activity recognition. So basically you can design decision tree and you can design also a uh, finite state machine combined together and make uh, your application smarter in an extremely low power domain. Because we are talking for make decision at the uh, sensor level, at sensor level we can go from 2 to 10 microamps instead of compute everything to the microcontroller make a computation and decision on top of that let's uh, go for the demo that we have thinking today so you pair the device directly to our android phone through bluetooth you have several tab here one is dedicated application for smartphone one dedicated for a wearable another one for personal computer another for automotive, another is more generic application. If you go for all of them, we have a label here and tell you exactly which kind of portion you are using, if you are using the Excel data or the Excel plus gyro data, and if you are using the machine learning core, the Finistein machine or the embedded feature. For example, for activity recognition, we are using Excel and just the machine learning core portion. Uh, for other, we can use machine learning core, Finistate machine, and also Excel and Gyro in combination. Let's pick up, for example, this one, flip down. We upload uh, the configuration on the six axis, and now we flip down the device, and it detects that it's flipping down. Let's go and check other, let's say, for example, uh, feature that we have in the wearable section. In the wearable section, we have the wrist tilt so assuming then this device will be your smart watch and you want to wear it i want to detect when i uh, uh, wrist uh, my my device in order to enable and turn on the display now i detect then i wrist tilt let's go back uh, for example in the application uh, generic application here you have a monitor vibration Let's see how much is the vibration that I detect. So now I have a level one, so basically it's static, no vibration. I move a little bit and I detect two. I move fast and I detect three. This is another application that I can use, uh, let's say, the data from accelerometer in combination with the machine learning core. In case then I want to build up my machine learning core and my Finistein machine using the graphical user interface called Unico, from, uh, available from our website, you can always upload your configuration file here. 
and you can also have the possibility to log through the SD card your data to design also your uh, finish state machine and also your machine learning core using the selecting the full scale, selecting the operation condition for each device, Excel and Gyro and you also you can con connect directly the sensor type dot box to your computer and uh, using the uh, let's say the configuration as a mass storage tool to move the data directly to from the SD card to your computer. Thanks for your attention today. I hope that uh, was a useful uh, uh, demo. Um, if you need more information, please go to our website www.st.com. Thank you.